welcome back to another reading vlog. I am Sheila. I am so happy you are here. If you are new, make sure to subscribe if you want to see more reading vlogs and bookish content and all of that. And if you're returning, welcome back. I am so happy to have you back here hanging out with us. So I am on my second book of 2021, which is The Library of the Unwritten by A.J. Hackwith. This is part of a series called Hell's Library. I actually had this book in my December book haul, so if you haven't seen that video, go check it out. I will link it above <laughs> so you can go watch what books I got in December. And I just finished reading Jade City. If you haven't watched that reading vlog, go check it out. I realized that fantasy is a challenging genre for me, so I'm on my second fantasy book of this year so we'll see how I fare with this in comparison to Jade City. They're very different topics but they still fall in the fantasy realm so we'll see how that goes. But I was particularly drawn to this book because it is a book about books. So I was initially drawn to this book because it had library in the title and I work as an archivist and I've worked in libraries so a lot of the work in my profession falls into like old records, old books, and libraries and stuff like that. So books about books and books about libraries just, you know, I'm initially, I'm drawn to them. And to give you a very quick summary of what this book is about, basically there is this library in hell where unfinished stories, unfinished books end up. Um, so books that don't get finished by their authors end up in this library wing called the Unwritten Wing. And Claire is the librarian, the head librarian of that wing. And this is like an actual library in hell where like demons can go look at books and hang out in the library. So that's just so hilarious to me. The plot and the whole story starts out with uh, Claire who discovers that a hero, like the main character hero of a book has escaped. So like all the characters in the books in the library can essentially come to life um, and manifest themselves into like physical entities. So this hero has escaped and they have to go find the hero and they end up traveling and finding the hero and it's on earth and it just kind of, that's kind of where I'm at with the story. So they're in charge of tracking the hero down and getting it back into the book because if not, all hell breaks loose and it's funny because the hero is like looking for its author so I think that's like a big thing that happens a lot with the books in these libraries if, especially if they're like younger books as in they were written fairly recently and their authors are still living they can essentially the characters can go find their authors so it's really interesting to see like older books versus newer books because clearly older books the authors are dead so they're that kind of like you can't really do much with a dead author, but if you're a character and your author is still alive, you can basically go hunt them down, um, which seems to be what is happening in this plot line. So Claire has a team. She has her like assistant named Brevity and this uh, nervous and sweet demon named Leto, who I've been introduced to, and he just seems very, like very meek and like not something you would not, not like demon quality so it's really interesting so this is kind of a little the crew that we have going we have claire claire is very like assertive and to the point which makes sense she seems kind of hard around the like rough around the edges as well but i mean she's the librarian in hell like she's a human a mortal like in hell so that's really interesting as well and then we have brevity who's a former muse so she is not human and then we have leto who is a demon so this is kind of the crew and they all go on this journey to try and find this lost hero and get the get the hero back inside the book at the library so there's another character named ramiel this is also like in the plot who's basically sent on a mission to go retrieve the Devil's Bible, whom it is believed is in the hands of Claire and Brevity and Leto, so they kind of <laughs> clash there. I haven't got to that part yet, but that's kind of like where the synopsis is. So what should have been a simple retrieval goes horrifyingly wrong when the terrifying angel Ramiel attacks them, convinced that they hold the Devil's Bible. The text of the Devil's Bible is a weapon in the power struggle between heaven and hell, so it falls to the librarians to find a book with the ability to reshape the boundaries between heaven, hell, and earth. So we have all these different worlds kind of colliding 
in this little fantasy realm, which is so fun. So I went to my bookshelf the other day, as you saw, to try and find my next book to read this month, and it was a tour it was a toss-up between this one, obviously, Arctic Fury and The Vanishing Half, and I just read the first few pages of each of them to see, you know, what was the most exciting, what I was most drawn to, and what I wanted to keep reading, and that's kind of how I decided to read this book. I just, when I, once I read the first page, I was like initially hooked and was like, okay, like it started very quickly, and I guess it like hooked me in, basically. The author did a good job of doing that. The other books weren't didn't hook me in, plus this, I don't know, I think I just really wanted to read this for reasons that I've already explained. So that's kind of where I'm at with the book. I'm not that far in at all. I am on chapter four, 30 pages in, so I have a lot of reading to do. Um, my goal is to get this done by, well initially it was to get it done by the end of this week, but I don't know. I don't want to like pressure myself to read either. So yeah, I am working from home today. I. I don't know, I feel very fatigued right now. Like I had a very productive morning answering emails and stuff. And then like once 11.30 hit, my like head was just, I just, I have like a headache basically. So I had some lunch, I read a little bit. And now that it's the afternoon, I think I'm going to make my afternoon chai because it just keeps me going. Love it so much. Uh, maybe try and read another chapter and then go back to work. One other exciting thing is that I have two books that have arrived from my local bookstore. I ordered them last month and they were on back order and I just got an email this morning saying that they have arrived and I can go pick them up. So I'm going to take you along to go pick them up and probably just browse at the bookstore because I go there basically like once a week at this point, not literally, but I go, I've been going there very frequently whether I have to go pick up a book or somebody invites me to go or I just wanna to go to the bookstore. So I will show you the two books. I won't share what they are now. If you've been keeping up with my reading vlogs then you probably know what they are, but if you're new, stick around for me to go pick them up and I will show you and tell you all about them then. All right, let's go make some tea. What time is it? It's 1.30, so yeah, let's go make some tea and read chapter four, and then I'm gonna go back to work and then maybe go to the bookstore a little bit later to pick up my books and carry on.
All right, here are the books that I got. I got The Midnight Library by Matt Haig, which I ordered like a month ago because the bookstore didn't have it, so I just ordered it through them. Finally came in Jade War by Fonda Lee, which is the second book in the Green Bone Saga. If you saw my Jade City vlog, then you know how excited I am to get this book. Also, isn't it funny that the staff thought my last name was Jay? <laughs> I thought it was funny. Yeah, I like already want to start reading Jade War because I just finished Jade City and like look at this book. It is like almost 600 pages so it's a full like 100 page longer than Jade City and it just feels so nice and I'm already like sucked in the story and I just want to like continue and read it but I'm reading this and I don't want to read two fiction books at the same time. Like, I'm all for reading, like, a non-fiction and a fiction book at the same time, but I don't want to have, like, my hands, my mind dipped in two different stories. I don't know. Plus, I feel like I'll end up not finishing a book if I'm, like, distracted by another book. So I want to, like, finish Library of the Unwritten and then move on to another book. But there's, like, so many other books that I want to read. So I don't know. I guess, it's, I guess I just need to read faster, guys. That's kind of the... The moral of the story. So I just made dinner. I will show you what I made, which is not very fancy at all. I made a like tuna pita melt and I got this gluten-free pita. Actually, let me show you the gluten-free pita because I know I have some gluten-free fam out there. It is in this bag, but I'll take it out so you can actually see it. So this is called Be Free. Is that what that's? There's a ticker over it so I don't know. Be free pita breads which is gluten free, dairy free, non-GMO, vegan friendly. I'm not vegan and no refined sugar. Don't really care about that but I don't know. I've been like I love sandwiches but I've just been like I just need more inspired things to add into my diet and I saw these at Wegmans and I was like you know what I want some pita so yeah, we're trying it. I already ate it once. I didn't toast it though, and it was good. Like it tasted like a legit pita. So we'll see how the toasted one goes. So I think I'm gonna sit down here and read while I eat. I guess it's the theme of today is just reading and eating at the same time, which I don't do a lot. I don't know. We're trying new things, but my battery's dying, so I should probably get a new battery. Here's my not very gourmet dinner but look at the pita it's so weird but I don't know it, I don't understand how to use it now it's like breaking the one thing I hate about gluten-free bread but there I mean this was a little slit and I put the stuff in it and I guess that's how you eat it but you'd think it like fold I don't know okay, I'm gonna read try to read eat dinner <laughs> been a while. It won't seem like a while for you in this video, but I just haven't vlogged for this vlog. <laughs> I haven't done any filming for this reading vlog in a while. I don't know when the last time was earlier this week, but it is Saturday. Happy weekend. I actually just filmed a video, my January goal check-in video. I will link that because it will definitely be going up before this video goes up. So if you like my planning videos, Go check that out to see how I'm doing with my January goals. This week has been just strange and exhausting, like mentally exhausting, but I've also been just physically tired too. Not like sleepy tired, just like sluggish. So with all of that, I've just been having like a reading rut, I guess. I haven't really felt like picking up my book and reading it. And I don't know if that's just me or if I'm not in the story or if it's a combination of just life and all of the things, but I am enjoying the book. So when I'm able to actually get into the book and read, I'm loving the story, but I think it just must be like external sources, <laughs> the external things going on around me that have just been 
I don't know, my mind's in different places. So I've been doing like other things to help me escape from the world besides reading, which mainly is just watching a lot of YouTube videos and watching Netflix. I binge watch the show Barbarians, which is only six episodes long, but I just went on Netflix trying to find a historical uh, show to watch because I just haven't watched one in a while. I finished watching The Last Kingdom, which I love that show. I'm so happy that they're bringing back another season, but I just needed something to fill in the gap of not having like a show. I don't really have a show right now. So I binge watched Barbarians because it sucked me in. I was hooked from the first episode. And my only critique is that it's very short, like it's six episodes and they do go through the storyline very, very quickly. But I feel like I was still like sucked into the story. I felt like I knew the characters and I was very invested by the end of the first episode. They did a really good job with that, with just crunching everything in. That helped me escape a little bit this week, but I don't know. I want to get back into reading. I need to finish the book. I need to fin I want to finish this video. I just have been in a reading rut. Let me know if you've been in a reading rut too. But anyway, I wanted to import the footage of the, the video I just filmed and kind of get that going because I want to get that video up on Monday. But for the rest of the weekend, I want to read as much as I can and just holding myself accountable by getting on and filming, be like, I'm gonna do this. Because usually when I get on and just like film saying, I'm gonna do this, I stick to my word because I know how I operate. When I say I'm gonna do something, I need to fulfill it. And if I don't fulfill it, I feel like a bad person. <laughs> so whatever you can do to motivate yourself to read, do it. So yeah, I'm gonna just work on the video a little bit and I don't know, we'll try and read this afternoon. Cheers to getting back into reading. I think now that I've like come on and filmed and like say, get, trying to get myself inspired to do it again, I will be, it's, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get through it. I don't know if I'll finish the book. I'm like a hundred-ish pages in. I'm not even halfway through yet, but we can be optimistic. Maybe I'll get through. Maybe I'll just read a crap ton today. We'll see what happens. And if I don't, that's okay too. I will get through it when I get through it. So, cheers. <laughs>
so I finally finished. I just, I literally just finished this. So this has been a long journey of reading this book. One, because in the middle of reading this book, I <laughs> entered a reading rut and struggled with just getting myself to pick up the book and continue reading. And I think the like the beginning and the end was great like i loved how the story began and i loved the ending but it was just the middle part where i just felt like it dragged and the characters it's like i liked the characters but i wasn't really like enthralled in the characters like there are just some books where you just really get attached to a character so i feel like it lacked that like i don't know if it was just bad character development or there's so many characters or the there just wasn't enough backstory and yeah and the other thing is it just the middle just like i said it dragged and there were just so many unanswered questions about the characters it's like they were just they existed but i didn't really know enough about their history to really like come to fully understand them and we learn a little bit about the main character and some of the um other main character like the main main character but then the sub characters and how they're all and all of that and but that came very late like i just read that within the last 60 pages and it felt i think the author tried to do that so it had this like shock factor or you know it just came out of the blue but i just wish i had that like way before there just wasn't really anything in the middle that just it was just like, it started out high and then it, sl it was just like this for a while. And then the ending, like the last 30 to 20 pages is where it was like, it went back, back up and yeah. So yeah, that's my initial impression after just finishing this book. And I like, I already, like, you know, when you re start reading a book and you can already tell if you're going to like it or not, or if you don't like it. And then there are some books where you just you don't like it and you just will not finish it. This was one where I like, at the beginning I was like, I like this, I really like this book. I'm excited to see where it goes. And then once I got stuck in the middle, there just reached, I reached a point where I was like, I don't know if I like this, but I'm gonna like continue reading it and finish it because I'm invested in the story. And it's like, I love the whole plot and the whole like atmosphere that the author created. But I think what, I don't like is how it was executed, how the story was written and how it was, it all played out and all the characters. Yeah. <laughs> I think like the saving grace of this book for me is the ending and how like everything came together. And since this is a series, the ending really set, sets you up for book two, which before I got to the ending, I wasn't sure. I was like, am I going to, do I feel like I want to read the second book? You know, if it's gonna continue dragging, like if it's the same kind of writing. Um, but after I read the ending, I was like, okay, I need to know what happens next. So I am going to read the second one. Uh, this is just one of those books where it's not like, it's not great and life changing, but I think it's definitely worth reading, which is why I've decided to give it a 3.5 out of five star rating. It's like five stars is like, this is great, this is amazing, this really struck a chord with me and just changed my perspective on things and it, it'll sit with me for a while and I'll just think about it. Uh, four stars is, it was great, but not like crazy great and not life changing. Three stars is, like three star rating means it's worth a read in my opinion. Um, and then two stars, one star is just, I would not recommend reading this at all. So I gave this a 3.5 star rating because I do think it's worth reading if you are really interested in the plot and you want to see how that gets played out. And the fact that it's also a series is also worth investing your time into because I think like the story is great and everything, like I mentioned, it's just the way, the, the execution, I keep going back to that, like the way it was written just, it dragged for me and I think, I don't know if that's also just me because I am new to fantasy and there were just parts of this book where it was really hard for me to kind of just read it because I think from 
reading so much like nonfiction and history and contemporary fiction and, and crime and not a lot of fantasy, it's hard for me to read <laughs> books that have fantasy elements because everything in there is made up. And there were, were some points where I'm just like, where there were like things mentioned that I'm just like, this is kind of corny. Like, where did this come from? But then I have to remind myself that it's a fantasy book and like fantasy is based on making things up. So I think my bias of like reading books that are based in history and truth and things I can actually picture in my mind was coming through because it was hard for me to read and like picture the things that I was reading because it was I've never like heard of this thing or you know whatever is being described. I think also think that this book would be great as like a movie or a TV show since it is a series because of the whole atmosphere of being in a library and then there's there's action there's a lot of action scenes and like and all of that. But yeah, I don't know if like the characters just weren't described thoroughly enough for me or it was just hard for me to picture because of like it being fantasy based. The other thing I thought, like, while I think the other thing about the middle is that the middle of this, like, the actual, like, story, like, was kind of boring. And then I was thinking to myself, you know, I, there's like the stereotype that, like, libraries and archives and just that whole, like, and academia is, like, a, is boring. And I so want to, I am just, it's not boring. Like, I work in those, I work in that atmosphere and I don't think it's boring. And I was just like, oh no, is this like true that it's, you can't write about libraries and archives without it being boring? But I don't think that's true at all because this book really got my imagination going about like how, like I'm not a writer, but if I ever wanted to write a book about like an archives or a fantasy based book on archives and like the work that I do, like I'm starting to get ideas like when I'm at work, like things coming to life and like p paper and collections having their own like aura and, and, and mind to them. And that's what this book really goes into is that each book, each story, each character is more than just a literal book. Like, and I think that's what I also really loved about the whole plot and everything is that it dives into that, that, that theme of just Sto there's so much to stories and how humans are tied to stories and like going back to the earliest written the earliest record was oral history which was stories and then writing came in and people decided to write history and stories down into what we have now with like technology and we're able to create videos and animations and tell our stories visually through photos or videos or animations it's just, I really love that whole element of just how the author tied in this like topic of story and storytelling and then put that within the book. I really love that. Again, I just think it's how, the whole execution where it could have been a lot better. But yeah, I think that's it in terms of just my review. I wanted to keep this short and sweet because I'm just glad I made it through the book. It was a struggle, like a personal struggle, and it maybe just is me and where I'm at right now. So if you are considering reading this book, but you're not sure, I say go for it. Um, I will say based on my experience, don't expect anything great or life changing. So if you're looking for a book, you're in kind of in that stage where you just want a book to read that sounds interesting, but you're not really, you don't have high expectations. This might be a good book for you and maybe it will exceed your expectations because clearly I have my own biases. Uh, and this is purely based on my lack of fantasy reading experience. So definitely check this out. I am really excited for the second book that I think is coming out this year or already came out. I need to like look into that, but I definitely want to read that next. So I think like after reading two hit fantasy books back to back, I'm ready for something else, you guys. I, maybe that I just got burned out with reading fantasy that I just need something else. So I think I have an idea of what I want to read next. Um, and if you saw the beginning of this video and you saw me looking through the different books, then you might have an idea of what I might pick. Um, but I think I just need a little bit of a reading break to recharge and get inspired to read again and also film because I love doing reading vlogs for all of the books that I'm reading. But I think I'm going to read something that is not fantasy, like fiction for sure. We'll leave it at that. 
but stay tuned because the reading Sheila's reading journey of 2021 lives on so yeah I hope you really so yeah I hope you enjoyed coming along with me reading this book and make sure to give this video a like if you want to see more reading vlogs and subscribe if you have not already if you want to join the community and get notified when I post reading vlogs which seem to be going up every other week um because it's taking me about two weeks to read a book when I actually start the vlog. That's kind of the pattern I'm getting in. So if you want to see reading vlogs every other week or a few times a month, definitely subscribe. I do post other videos about planning and productivity and work vlogs. So if those are all things that interest you, definitely subscribe and hang out and stay a while. So yes, thank you so much for watching and coming along with me on this journey. Let me know down in the comments what you are currently reading or what you just finished reading or what you plan to read next. Just tell me where you are in terms of like your reading <laughs> at the moment. I always love getting recommendations down in the comments as well. So let me know what book is on your mind right now or if you want to read this or if you have read this and what your thoughts on this were. I'd love to hear in chat with you down there. So yeah, until the next video, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I want to go like this and then it only it's the single book in the hand. That's funny. <laughs> what do you do?